Okay, today we're taking a look at a time-dependent force of F equals 3I minus 4TJ, which is being applied to a 2-kilogram object that's initially at rest. And we're going to calculate the time at which the speed of the object is 20 meters per second. Now, to start this problem, we need to take a closer look at what this force function actually means for this object. And this force, even though it's a single force, we can treat it as though it's actually two separate forces. One force of three newtons acting in the horizontal axis, or in the I direction, and a separate force of minus 4T acting in the J direction, or in the vertical axis. Now today I'm going to work this problem out using variables rather than numbers, so that you can apply the solution to whatever problem it is you're trying to solve on your own. So I'm going to say our force as a function of time is equal to, not 3, but A in the I direction, plus B, T, in the J direction. Now the key here in making the jump from force to speed is using Newton's second law to get into acceleration in the kinematics. Remember, acceleration is equal to force divided by a mass. So if we take this function and divide it by our mass, which I'm just going to call M for now, we're left with the acceleration as a function of time. That's going to be A over M in the I direction, plus b over m t in the j direction. And now that we have acceleration as a function of time, we can take the integral of this function to get to velocity as a function of time. Now realize this function gives us the components of the velocity of our object as a function of time, but it's not giving us the actual speed. In order to solve for the actual speed of our object, remembering speed is the magnitude of velocity, we're going to take these components of velocity, and we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for the speed. So using this horizontal component right here, squared, plus our vertical component, we can set that equal to our speed. So this is a very general equation we can use. And going back to our original problem, I'm going to plug the numbers in the problem into our equation leaving us with this function. Now, I don't really feel like doing the algebra for this, but if you do something like just toss this into Desmos, you'll find the time in this case is 4.35 seconds. So this is how you use Newton's second law in kinematics to solve for the speed of an object given a time-dependent force function. I hope you found this useful, and on that note, that's all for now.